Unit 51, Phrasal Verbs. Speaking and listening. Introduction. These questions are all about songs or poems. I'll give you a line from a song or a poem. Can you give the next line? Iris, this one is for you. Mad dogs and Englishmen. Oh, that's an easy one. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. The song is Mad Dogs and Englishmen by Noel Coward. Right. Roger. Men may come and men may go. Ah, yes. This isn't from a song, it's from a poem. By Tennyson, I think. Men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. Right. It's by Alfred Lord Tennyson and the poem is The Brook. Ah, yes. George, this one's for you. Oh, it's nice to get up in the morning. Oh, it's nice to get up in the morning, but it's nicer to lie in bed. It's from a song, a music hall song, I think. Uh, yes, but who sang it? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, Harry Lauder? Harry Lauder. Absolutely right, George. <laughs> now, this last question is for everyone. Who said this in a speech? Wake up, America. And who said this also in a speech? Wake up, England. George. Augustus P. Gardner said, wake up, America. Correct. And King George V said, wake up, England. Right. And as another king said, the king in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, begin at the beginning and go on till you come to the end, then stop. Well, we've come to the end, so we'll stop. Until next week, from all of us here, goodbye. Jeff's out. And Anna's away. Listen. Sunshine Travel, good afternoon. Could I speak to Anna Walker, please? I'm sorry, she's away at the moment. She's in Sweden. Oh, could I speak to Jeff Grant? I'm sorry, he's out at the moment. He'll be back later. Ah, could I speak to Mr Jones? I'm sorry, he's out at the moment too. He's not back from lunch. He'll be back about 3.30. Is Angela Carpenter in? Yes, Angela's in. Hold on. Thank you. Putting you through. Thank you. You're through. Oh, no, sorry. The line's engaged. <sighs> OK, I'll call back later. Bye. Bye. Sunshine Travel, good afternoon. Listen and repeat. Anna's away. Jeff's out. Mr. Jones is not back from lunch. But Angela's in. The party's over. Listen. Robert. Yes? Um, what's the matter? Robert, I've got to tell you something. I'm listening. Well, turn off the television. OK. The television's off. Turn on the light. OK. The light's on. Now, what's up? Robert, I don't want to see you anymore. I don't understand. You said to turn on the light. Don't be stupid, Robert. I mean, I don't want to be with you anymore. Sorry. I still don't understand. 
I do not love you anymore. We are through. This is the end. We have no future. The party's over. Now do you understand? Um... I think I'll make a nice cup of tea. Sit down and have some tea. Listen. Here's the tea. Where are you going? Out. What? I'm going out, Robert. Well, don't stay out too late. Actually, Robert, I'm not going out. I'm going away. I don't understand. I'm going away and I won't be coming back. Just a minute. Let's talk about this. Robert. Sit down and have some tea. I don't want any tea. Well, I'm going to have some tea. And, uh, I want to say something. All right, I'm listening. Go on. Um... Are you sure you don't want any tea? Wake up. Listen. <clears throat> Hello? Robert, it's me. Where are you? I'm at a hotel. I've just checked in. Can you speak up? I can't hear you very well. I'm at a hotel. I've just checked in. Oh, I see. I'm phoning to say I'm all right. Oh. Good. Robert. Robert. Robert, mm. wake up. Mm. What, what, what's happening? Robert, <sighs> it's me. But you're at a hotel. I was, but I checked out this morning. But you said, we're through. This is the end. We have no future. The party's over. Did I? Well, I made a mistake. Now, get up and let's have breakfast. OK. Well, this is very nice. Champagne for breakfast. Drink up and have another glass. Hmm. OK. The party's over. Oh, no, Robert. The party's starting again. Cheers. Cheers. Turn it off. Listen. I think we watch too much television. True. It's there in the corner of the room. Every evening, we come in, we sit down, and we turn it on. Yes. We never do anything else. Well, let's turn it off. What? Let's turn it off right now. OK. Why don't we give it away? Give it away? Yes. Or ask somebody to take it away. That's not a bad idea. But we might regret it. Yes. Well, let's put it away in a cupboard. OK. Song. Why do I stay out late? I woke up this morning at a quarter to eight. I got up slowly, only half away. My feet were on the floor, but my head was spinning round. I couldn't stand up, I had to sit down. Ooh, why do I stay out late? Ooh, why do I stay out late? I shouldn't stay.
Accents of English. This speaker is from Kenya. Listen. If you're not conversant with big cities, your first arrival in London can be very stunning. Nonetheless, as time goes by, this feeling is bound to disappear. You begin to know your way around and about, and you discover that quite a number of Londoners are willing to help you find your directions when you are lost in the streets. Sooner or later, you get to know that it is faster to travel by the underground in London than to travel by road. Traffic jams become very dense, especially during peak hours. Travelling by the underground can be very exciting if you keep your eyes open. The train emerges from a dark tunnel and pulls to a stop at the platform. People get on while others are light. Your eyes are continuously being assaulted by advertisements in huge letters telling you where to buy your clothes, where to invest your money, where to eat, etc., etc. Synopsis Dialogue Hmm, a little lunchtime music, I think. No, that's too noisy. That's too noisy, too. Don't go to see Dr. Brown. People go up to his apartment, but they don't come down. No. No, too sad. No, that's too sad, too. What happened to you and me? Why is it only a memory? That's nice. What did I do? What did I say? Why did you go away? Oh. Hello? Is Mr. Jones there? No, I'm sorry. He's out at the moment. Oh. He's at lunch. He'll be back at about 3.30. OK. I'll call back later. Bye. Bye. Very nice. 